Welcome back. Today I'm going to hook up this Phantom Grip style differential locker. This goes inside your transmission, inside of your differential for your Acura and Tagger or Honda Civic. Once it's inside your differential, four springs on each side, it expands and it serves like a limited slip. And it's what I try to do. And once it's inside, you take off these lock pins out. This one and this one. It's kind of like an LSD, but not quite. And I'm gonna hook it up inside my car. All right, I'm under my car. My car's a 1999 Honda Civic EX with a JDM B16 A2. And I have a LS transmission. And you can see that it's, you know, it's not open diff. I'm gonna put the Phantom Grip inside. I drain the, all the oil out and I'm gonna start taking the transmission out. All right, I just took out the transmission. Now I'm going to open it up. All right, so I loosen all the size 12s. I loosen them up. Now I'm going to take these out, these two. They have, uh, it's like a bolt. And inside there's like little springs with BBs on both of them. I'm going to take them out. And then I'm going to take out this one. And take the clip inside and then pop, pop the case out. All right. So I, I loosen these two bolster size 12 also, just like these. And there's gonna be a little spring with a BB inside. All right, I'm gonna set that one there. Then use your magnet. Got the BB. And I'll also do the same on this one. Then I'm going to go up here and take that off. Alright, so I took off these two size 12 bolts. They're right there with the little BB. Now I'm going to take this, the one up here, top here, you use a ratchet. You just put it in there and you break it loose. Alright, so I broke it loose. That's what it looks like inside. You have to um, separate clips, and then and then also you have to take this bolt out too. Then it's going to be ready to to come out the whole casing. And when you're putting the transmission together back, don't for, don't forget to put um, Honda bond when you're tightening it. All right, you're going to need a needle nose like this to stick it in here and then you gotta open like that and then pull up and I'll, and I'll loosen that clip then you gotta take that bolt off right here then it'll be ready to take the casing off alright so I separate the clip using the needle nose now I took off this size 14 And it's going to be ready to come off the whole transmission casing. Set that one right there. Alright, right now I'm going to take off the gear sets. You have, to, you have to take off this size 10 right here. This one. This one. Also, you're going to have to take these two. This one and this one, they're both size 10. Then you're going to be able to take the gear sets off. Then we're going to be pulling the differential out. Alright, so I took off this piece out, these three bolts. I put it right there. Now I'm going to take off this little bracket off. And I'll be ready to take the gears off. Also, I'm going to take off this gear. All right, so I took off the bracket that went here. It's on the it's on the it's on the floor right there. And now I'm gonna take off this gear. After that, uh, the gears are gonna be able to come off. All right, there's a gear. I just took it off from from right here. It has a slot. So that little pin. 
goes right here. And there's like a flap surface on it. That's what it is. Let me get ready to take this whole gear sets off. All right, these are all your gear sets. I just put them in the box. This is how your transmission looks without the gear sets. And now the differential is ready to come off. All right, I had to take the speed sensor out. It's right here. It's one size 10 because it didn't let me take the um, differential out. Now it's loose. I'm gonna flip it upside, upside up. And this is where your um, Phantom Grip style differential locker is gonna go. I'm gonna need to take that pin out right here. Push it out so I can take the center section out. You're gonna need a center punch like this. This I believe is uh, 1 8 there you go. So you can take out that part in the middle and you can slide in your Phantom Grip style differential locker and that'll be it. Then put the transmission together. All right, so I was able to take out that pin using this brass mallet and this um, center punch. This is what it looks like when you when you bang it through, you're gonna hit it here and it'll bang through. It'll come out through the other side, through that hole right there. And now you can push that out. It looks like that. So you can put your um, Phantom Grip style differential locker inside all right so uh, I'm taking just this one bolt don't take all of them that's how it looks without that little shaft that's on the floor right there and the pin and then the center punch and your brass uh, hammer differential locker okay I'm just gonna take this uh, so I can get more clearance just this one bolt this one's a reverse thread so don't forget that this is for um, Acura Integra LS and it's a reverse thread. So to tighten it is loosen it. So we're already loosening it with the impact gun right there. And you see how I'm tightening it, it's getting loose. So it's reverse thread. That's tightening it when I'm going um, the other way. Don't forget that so you won't like uh, cross, you know, the threads on it. It's fine thread too. It's a size uh, 14. So I did that so I can get more, a um, little bit more clearance for, um, for this. Still gotta grind the gears in the top one and the bottom one. All right, so I took the gears out. I put uh, zip ties behind them so I wouldn't lose the washer and the orientation how they went. That's how it looks without it. So now uh, it goes like from there and then the top one goes here. Like that. And then this goes through that hole. Once it's inside your little differential, you know, come out like that. All right, so I mark on the gears, on the top gear, I put a T on there. So I won't get confused, so I'll know how I pulled it out. The washer, I zip tied it, so, I, so I'll know that the way I pulled it out, it's the same way I'm going to put it back in. Also, I marked the bottom gear, 
I put a B on there so I'll know that that's the bottom gear that's how I did it to remember stuff all right you can put your gears on a vise like this uh, so you can shave shave down like one of these you can shave down how much you need or you can uh, just look for a machine shop that could uh, grind this top a couple of layers down I'm still working on my uh, differential this is a 96 Integra uh, LS put the phantom grip style um, differential locker inside and doesn't go in even though the this gears don't have the protruding lip like the other ones do so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sand them down where I marked it on both top and bottom all right so I got the gears back from the machine shop they resurfaced uh, milled the gear all the way down almost to the splines if you can see on both of them this one's uh, this one's your bottom I put a B on there and also they did the top about, about that much right before the splines uh, this one's your top because I put a T on there and I'm gonna put it back together I put it back together for the meantime because I'm, I'm gonna show you how much how, how much of the gear they the machine shop sanded down about that much they did right before the splines it gave me enough clearance top and bottom and now you're gonna be able to put the um, phantom grip style alright so I'm taking the differential pin out and I'm gonna get ready to put this um, phantom grip style differential locker like I said um, you're only supposed to take out one uh, one bolt off and right now I'm going to take these little pins on both sides. That's one side. That's the other side. I put in the differential locker, phantom grip style locker in here. It might not line up right away, and you might need to finesse, like hitting the differential pin. As long as you got the gears lined up, you just keep on hitting it and tapping this, you know, forward and back until it lines up. Then when it does, just keep on tapping it in and it's gonna go across. So now it's uh, limited slip differential. So I'm gonna put the differential pin back on. The pin that goes here, which is this one. And this is a punch that I'm using. It's a one eighth. It's long enough. And I'm gonna use a little brass mallet. So I'm gonna flip it over so I won't mess up these gears. And that's where that little pin's gonna go through, which is this one. I'm gonna flip it over. Put it right there. Don't forget to put a lock tie on, on this bolt. It's a reverse thread. I would use a red a lock tie. See, loosen it is tighten it on these on this thread. So I'd put lock tie in it and just tighten this one. All right, tighten that uh, size 14 bolt right there, the one I took off. And using this impact, when you tighten it, you're gonna go reverse. This is reverse thread. Also, don't forget to put a little bit of Loctite 
the red kind on this little pin. All right, once you clean your magnet, now uh, you're gonna be able to put your differential on. All right, I put the differential on and sit all the way down flush. Now I'm gonna put the gear sets. All right, I put the gear sets back on. Uh, I clean the magnet. It's clean. This thing back on. Also, I did this. And this gear back on. Put the transmission case back on. I put these on uh, size 12 bolts with the little spring and the BB back inside. This one's on uh, your top. I put a teether, and this one's your bottom one. And the BB's in there too. And I tightened up all the size 12s all around the transmission. And I'm gonna tighten these up right now. These two are size 12s. That one's a size 14. And make sure that uh, that the C-clip, it's all the way on the bearing. Once you put a little bit of Honda bond around the thread, then you're gonna use this ratchet to tighten it. Install the new throw out bearing, the clutch fork. All right, I'm also changing the clutch. Might as well do it. Transmission is out, so I'm gonna put a four puck clutch and a light and flywheel. The transmission is back on. To fill up your transmission, you just take off the speed sensor, number 10 right here. Take that one off and just pull out the speed sensor and that's how you refill your transmission. All right, so I finished the install on the Phantom Grip style differential locker. And uh, the car is in first gear right now. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, reverse, back to first. Let's go outside and check it out. Right now it's in first gear, so I have the wheel spinning. That's the driver's side. It has the passenger side. This is first gear right now. 